know, Raj, another strategy that you use is the tax offset year strategy. So can you go ahead and enlighten everybody a little bit more about that for optimizing taxes? Because when we talk about tax optimization, we're not just giving you one, we're giving you a few different things. Here exactly. Today. Exactly. And, and, and you can, you can see my inner geek totally coming out right. on this one. He so said, oh. because yeah. <laughs> it's like, Oh, let's yeah. talk about tax offsets. Right. <laughs> Sorry. It's like world's most boring human being who will save you. Exactly. Right. I'll put on a little show. Uh, so a tax, a tax offset year. Um, so a tax offset year is a really interesting thing. So, you know, you can pick your tax year, right? It doesn't have to be a, a January to December kind of thing. So most people think, oh, my tax year is my calendar year. And a lot of companies do do that. They just decide January to December is my tax year. However, we've always in this, in this discussion of having investment holding companies, we've talked about having more than one company. And guess what? There's, no, there's nothing saying that one company can't have January to December and the other one have the end of its tax year in July so that they're overlapped. Now we combine that with the other strategy, the invoice out strategy that we just talked about. And now a really interesting thing happens. Now I might otherwise have to pay taxes in December because that's the end of this year. But if I invoice out to another entity, I might get six more months before I have to take, pay taxes. Okay, so now I can send money from places that are uh, a worse for me tax wise to places better for me tax wise and also have more time to pay the tax, which means more time to find deductions so I can offset that income and lower my tax burden. So you can't, I mean, you can't play a shell game and just, you know, because I know there's somebody who's thinking this somewhere. You can't say, oh, I'll just have it pay ping pong and invoice back and forth, right? And just like this one invoices this one, this one, and all is off. That does not work, right? That's a complete sham. But it is legitimate if you've got two investment holding companies and that they're doing legitimate business that you offset things that you can actually, you know, have six months more to pay your taxes and to use that money and find, and we're going to talk about this, I'm sure, as we get further into it and find more deductions. So you can offset that and lower from that 21% and get down, you know, let's see if we can get to Warren Buffett 16 and then let's see if we can beat him. I love that when Raj talks about this, if, if you haven't noticed yet, it's like a science experiment. If you put this in this and if you join it here. <laughs> exactly. Like a little bit. And then there's magic. Right. Yeah. Right. 